Have you guys ever seen anything weird on Instagram? And no, I don't mean the dead memes, or the anime girls, or the Shiba Inus whose owners record them humping stuff. No, no, no. I'm talking about the ads. Now recently, I've been getting some weird ads on my Instagram. Um, I don't know what's causing it. I don't know why I'm being punished like this. These are weird. Let's take a look. Okay, so here's our first one. It's just, it's like a photography account. And they just have this picture of this man who's staring directly into my soul. His eyes tell me he hasn't drank a bottle of water in just about 40 years. The description just says, Schema Boy. It looks like when they took this picture, the, the cameraman was right behind the guy as he was sleeping, you know? Like, you know, rolled over on the other side. And the cameraman like tapped him on the shoulder and he went, What? And they took the picture. Here's the next one. This one's my favorite. It's just this kid with this goofy fucking face. <laughs> Doing a little peace sign. And it says, going down state, wish me luck, hashtag cove. All right, I make fun of this kid because I sort of feel like I've been this kid before. You know what I mean? Like, this is the kid who calls you an N-word on Xbox Live. This is the kid that you fight in like Call of Duty and you kill him enough times and he said his dad works for Microsoft and he's gonna like ban your account or something if you kill him one more time. Like, I just feel like I've met this guy before. Here's one from an actual company that I'm not gonna show. It says, tracking my cookies, you'll never get my recipe. That's cool. That's, I, I totally, I relate with this grandma, man. You'll never get my recipe. The recipe for this shit life. I can tell they're going for an impact meme, but they don't want it to be an impact meme. Like, I've seen this picture before of like, stock image grandma looking at her computer screen, but they don't use impact font. Just bad on every front. This meme makes me want to go take a shower. Okay, here's a good one. I have to blur like half of this photo, but it is well worth it. Yeah, I hopefully I have it on the screen now, but you know what I'm looking at. I want you to guess what this post is about, all right? Is it A, new naked pics on my Patreon? B, save the bees? C, oops, haha, I didn't mean to take this pic? Or D, advertising for a random brand? Lock in your answers now. Everyone lock in your answers, okay? It's B, save the bees. Save the bees. For the next two months, my Patreon earnings will be donated to benefit the bees. If everyone donated $1, I would reach my goal three times. And then she links her Patreon. What about this picture tells you that this is about bees? Like the yellow, like her hair is yellow. It looks like she's putting a Cheeto in her mouth. Here's a good one. This is the kind of shit that sells on Instagram. As you can see, there's a, an old timer in the middle. I'm um, surrounded by a bunch of women who are um, scantily clad. It's amazing what you can do on Instagram and get away with it. Um. <laughs> when I saw this ad, I had no idea what to think. Like, I was like, they cannot justify this with a description. Like, it's just so... I, I have no idea. Here's the description. Photos from the Devil's Reign 3 Day Kaiju book release party this last December at Howl. Oh, the Church of Satan. That's cool. Y'all got a whole church now? That's, that's pretty, that's pretty sweet. I love, I love the hashtags on this too. Hashtag Devil's Reign, hashtag Church of Satan. Hashtag Satanism, hashtag Satanic, hashtag Dark Arts. I say half this stuff, this video is not gonna get monetized. Here we go, this is the stuff, baby. Throw that up on the screen, y'all see that? <laughs> Furries, baby, oh yeah, two of them. That's lucky, two in one catch. The description says, look out, here is two cute doggos to feast your prying eyes on. Hashtag furries, hashtag furry, hashtag fursuit, hashtag doggo. I get that these guys can be, them, them can be themselves and that's great, but I just want to know why Instagram recommended this to me. Does Instagram think I'm a furry? All right, here's our next ad. And it's just a picture of a $10 bill for some reason. I'll show you this guy's picture because it's the it's that mask. You know that mask that like anonymous wears. 
That just shows you what an edgelord this guy is, okay? And the description says, My favorite bill of American money, we the people, means no government shall overthrow the people in tyranny. Hashtag USA. Hashtag 1776. Hashtag Patriot. Hashtag a bunch of other stuff. I, I get your message, man. I just don't know why you would choose such a boring picture. You really think no one else has seen a $10 bill before? Like... Okay, I'm interested in this ad for like the for the first time out of any of these ads, but I just want to know how bad this guy is. Like, why doesn't he show his face? Is he over the age of 14? Like, I, I just have questions. Okay, this one's kind of good. It's a like dragon tattoo thing and it's supposed to be a hand too. The description says crocodile hand. Thanks for co always coming in and letting me get weird with it at the person, yeah. So it's just a crocodile hand thing. Um, you can't look me in the eyes and tell me that you don't see what this looks like. Got him! Here's one from a meme page, I think. It's that, it's a who's that Pokemon with the guy, you know I had to do it to him. This is an A plus meme. I like, I'll give you that. It's very well done. I just... I just think this is weird, this is a weird thing to advertise. Why would you advertise a meme, like? All right, here's our next ad. Um, we've already seen some of this kind today, um, but here's another furry. I got two furry ads on my timeline. Oh, why, Instagram? Why, man? What makes you think I'm a furry? Anyways, that's a nice suit, I guess. He has a flower in his fur. You know, you gotta give some of these furries credit, like, we we can make fun of them, but they all have super gigantic balls to go outside dressed like this. Like, I I could not do that, okay? <laughs> all right, well, that's it for me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to let me know. We might do this again sometime. Who knows? Okay, I'll see you next time.